Surprise! I brought Santa and he has presents! Hello, I'm Danielle, the author and illustrator of Moose Mischief, a pancake surprise. And on the Moose Mischief channel, I teach you about our amazing world through art, science, and craft projects. Today I'll show you how to make a reindeer finger puppet! Okay, let's get started. Here's what you need. Dark brown, red, cream, and light brown felt, bobble eyes, a marker, scissors, thread, a needle, glue, and the reindeer template from my website, moosemischief.com. For the first step, cut out the reindeer from the template. Grab the light brown felt, fold it in half, place your reindeer template right on top, and trace it. Cut out your reindeer. I am so excited for the holidays. I love the snow on the ground and hot cocoa by the Christmas tree. Can't wait for Santa to come. I'm gonna leave him out a big plate of cookies and a huge glass of milk. I hope he brings me something extra special this year. What do you want from Santa? Tell me in the comments below. Since I folded the felt in half before I cut it, now I have a front and a back to my reindeer. Now return to the template and cut out the hooves and the antlers for your reindeer. There's one antler. Let me cut out the second one. Now he needs his hooves so he can go prancing and dancing. Place your antlers and hooves onto the dark brown felt, trace them, and cut them out. Return to the reindeer template and cut out the reindeer's face. Trace it onto the cream felt. Now cut it out. Return to the reindeer template and cut out his nose. Trace it onto the red felt so we can make Rudolph. He is my favorite reindeer. He lights the way so Santa can see to bring you all your presents. He's a very special reindeer. We're very lucky to have him. Have you ever seen Rudolph in the sky leading Santa's sleigh? I haven't, but I sure love to. I bet it's really magical. Now that we have everything cut out, let's glue it together. To start, we will glue the front and back of our reindeer together. You will put glue on the edges of the reindeer, not in the center because you want to have space to slip in your finger. You will also not put glue at the bottom. All right, so now I will glue them together. Just place this down on top very gently and press it down. Next, glue on the antlers. Dab a little glue at the bottom of your antlers and stick it behind the reindeer's head. Now let's add the hooves. Next, glue on his face. And then add on his nose. Our reindeer needs to see, so let's put on the bubble eyes. All our reindeer needs now is a mouth. And to do that, we will use a piece of thread. So let's put the thread on the needle. Here we go. Cut the thread right about there. So tie a little knot at the bottom of your thread. You'll wanna loop the thread around your finger, then slip the needle up through the thread, just like that, and make a knot. Let's put on his mouth. First, you'll take the needle and you'll stick it through the back side of your reindeer, just like this. Then you pull the string until you reach the knot that you tied in there. Then I will take the needle and I'll place it on the opposite side of his face next to his nose. I'll stick the needle through. You'll pull it very gently. 
I want my reindeer to have a smile, so I will leave a little bit of slack in the thread so that it dips down, because if I pulled it straight across, then he would have a frown. And you don't want a frowny reindeer. What would Santa think? Now flip your reindeer upside down. Tie a knot on the other side of your thread, just like we did earlier, so that your smile will stay in place. Now cut off the excess thread. Look at that adorable finger puppet you just made. Now you can have a puppet show for your family over the holidays that's sure to keep them entertained. I had so much fun making this finger puppet with you. If you had fun too, like the video below, share it with a friend, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you haven't already, please check out my book, Moose Mischief, a pancake surprise. In the book, the moose claims he's the very best chef. But is he really? Buy the book to find out. Goodbye, kids. See you next time.